Hi, my name is Ricky Wynn. I'm one of the senior application engineers at Hawker Systems. And today we're going to be going over Pack and Go and some of its most useful options. So imagine you're asked to send an assembly to your vendor and you want to make sure you don't miss any parts. With Pack and Go, we can easily grab all the reference files from your assembly and zip it up in one step. To do a Pack and Go, you're going to want to go to File, Pack and Go. It's going to take the assembly and all the reference files and list them here. We can choose to save them to a folder or straight to a zip file. Before we do that, let's take a look at some of the options. We can include drawings. So if there's any drawings associated with the model that you want to include and send those to the vendor, you can do that. If there's any simulation reports that have been done on the model, you can go ahead and include those as well. You can include toolbox components. For those that don't have SOLIDWORKS toolbox, you can include them in the pack and go. So for example, when they unzip the zip file and open up the assembly, they'll have them available. Any decals that you've applied, anything that have been custom, that have been applied to the model, you can go ahead and include those as well. And then suppress components. So for example, if right now I had anything suppressed, but I also want to include that in the uh, pack and go as well. I can go ahead and include that. So for example, when they open it up, uh, they can, it might come in as suppressed, but say they want to unsuppress it and take a look at what the full assembly looks like, they have that option. Another thing I want to point out is whether we want to add a prefix or a suffix. Uh, this is not going to change the original name of any of the reference files. What it's going to do is it's, for example, if I add a suffix here, if I'd say dash copy, you'll see on the right hand side the uh, names in green. This is going to show me, hey, once you actually click save, it's going to now have the name of the file and it's going to append a, a suffix at the end of it. So for example, you'll know that, hey, this is a copy. Once we're done, we can go over here, click Save, and then in this case, with our settings, it's going to go ahead and save it straight to a zip file. So in today's video, we covered how to utilize Pack and Go and its options to create a zip file with your assembly and all its reference files in one step. Thanks for watching.